I was searching for a nice ambient light, not a reading light, not a light that I need the light of, but a light to provide me a mild, warm, calm room. And I chose this one. Don't ask me why. I liked it. I liked the idea of the wooden book and I purchased it. So it has arrived. It has been tested. It has been admired. And now I'm just simply going to share my personal opinion with you. So it comes delivered inside a grey bag with a label. Uh, once you've opened the bag you'll find the box. It's all super well packed as you can see on the picture below. Um, the book itself, well lamp, book, book lamp, it's um, individually wrapped but it does have protection in all corners. So I'm very happy personally with the packaging. Inside you'll find a instruction booklet which you're really not even going to need. It kind of opens up into a really large page. It's one of those foldable ones that you open and then you're never able to fold the same way again. Um, or maybe it just happens to me. Uh, you also get um, obviously the book lamp and the charging cable which is rather long and it works with a micro USB port. Now, usually my video reviews have writing, very little writing where it says in the box, details, size. This review, I just didn't want to do any writing. I just wanted to show you the product because sometimes, and in this case, definitely, an image is worth more than a million words. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, on the left picture, you can see the details of the spine of the book. I think it's been, it doesn't look like a mass production item. It really looks like an item that's been even done hand by hand, um, handcrafted uh, manually. Uh, quality wise, it's impressive. It's perfect. I can't fault it in any way, shape or form. The pages, as you will see on the right, um, they are pure white. They're very thick. They feel like two thick, good quality pieces of paper kind of bound it together, bind it together, stuck together. Um, I don't know, but it just, it just looks really, really beautiful. So this is what the book looks closed. Um, as you can see here, it looks like it's made of three different layers of plywood, kind of stuck together. Um, there's no switch, I'll show you in the next page, in the next um, pictures. I'm just looking at the pages, I mean, during the day, I have it on a bookshelf and when I need it, when I'm playing the piano, I take it out and open it and it's just, I don't think I need to say any more, honestly, if you have purchased it, if you are going to purchase it, I'm sure anyone's going to love it as much as I do. How can, how can you not? <laughs> And I was thinking, how can I show, I mean, the dimensions are provided and I have actually attached a picture to. Um, it's a bit bigger than a A5 notebook, so you get an idea. Uh, but I've just thought, put your phone by it so you get an idea of how thick it is. It's my iPhone 10, but it does have um, a quite bulky, you can see that, Ted Baker case on. And it's just, it's a really... A silly comparison, I know, but it's sometimes the most simple thing can give you an idea of the size rather than if I put a measuring tape or a ruler by it. So yeah, here you have the measurements. It's almost, if not an inch thick, and it, it's really like an A5 notebook, but a, a tiny bit bigger. Here's a close-up. I believe the wood has been naturally varnished. It does feel, when you to the touch, it doesn't feel uh, untreated plywood, so you get the idea. It's not the cheap plywood that you can buy. It does feel like it's been finished. Um, it's smooth to touch. It smells lovely. Um, it's really well finished. And I wanted to show you this picture because just here on the left, this is the micro USB port where you actually plug um, your light to charge. It takes four to five hours. I couldn't tell you exactly. Um, I've, what I've first done, I've completely drained the battery that it came with. Um, it lasted me, 
I think it lasted me over two hours. Um, and then I put it on charge. I know all the sellers recommend you and all listings when we buy something, they always say, as soon as you receive it, put it on charge. But I really always recommend if it's something with a rechargeable battery, drain the battery first time round, fully charge it to the max and then um, drain it again. It's that simple. That way the battery is going to last longer. But basically the book has kind of a click magnetism. When you open it, you hear a click and then it turns on. And then when you close it, you hear the same click and it turns off. So there's no, basically there's no manual switch. So if any of you are thinking, can I leave this light on forever? Now, I wouldn't recommend leaving the light, this um, book lamp on for, let's say, a very long period of time, because we are, even though it's a nice, natural, warm light and it doesn't have too many lumens, um, it is at the end of the day paper. So I would think that due to the heat um, of continuous long use, the pages would go yellow in the long run. I mean, I don't know, maybe months, maybe years, but a way to, if you want to place it somewhere and leave it placed, a way to do it is to simply plug it in when you want it charged and uh, when you want it on, sorry, and unplug it when you don't want it on. Just a quick detail close up of the spine so you get to see. I need to actually comment when I first opened my book and I wanted to put it open on my piano, it wouldn't stay fully open uh, because it's new, it's brand new and it's kind of the wood still hard if that makes sense the spine still a bit hard just kind of a real book when we first open it we've purchased it and we're going to read it for the first time how the pages keep trying to close while while we're reading well it's the same kind of thing so you don't need to break the spine on this one like we do with the reading books all you do you hold the book with both hands just do the opposite motion as if reversing the spine and then you will feel in your hands how the spine kind of gives up and opens a little and then it will stay fully flat but i just thought i'll give you a heads up um, it's very easy to find out um you know but just in case it helps it's just beautiful i just i would look at it <laughs> and just like, stare there looking at it to be honest Another great detail is that all the pages, as you can see, they're actually ended in a round shape. They're round corners. Um, so every single little detail. Uh, pages, if, it does look like it's two pages together. Well, let me tell you, they are perfectly aligned. Okay, um, there's not one edge um, that's not completely aligned to the other. So it's fantastically well made. It doesn't matter if I make big pictures, little pictures, more light, less light. And I have tried to turn the lights on and take a picture, at lights on, sorry, lights off and take a picture. But with nowadays with the cameras, it's either too dark and you can't see a thing or the flash comes on and ruins the party. So sorry I couldn't load any of those. And this is the micro USB um, charging cable that comes with it. Now I am sure I have seen micro USB charging cables with switch and I'm sure I've seen them on Amazon. So there's an option as well for us if we buy one of those um, USB port, uh, charging cables and it, it has um, the switch directly, that would be awesome. In my case, I still have little children. So I know they would sooner or later do a little mark, you know, that kind of thing. I'm going to write my name or I'm going to do a stick man and no one's going to find out and then mom's going to have a heart attack etc so to avoid all that i actually put my book away during the day and take it out at night um, but if you don't have little children on this picture actually i've just seen here on the right you can actually see it was the first or second picture i took of the book lamp when it arrived and first opened you can see it stays up from um, the table, the surface that it's on, 
that's because I hadn't um, turned the spine yet and um, the other way around so all I've done is held from not from this part from the middle of course and just pull in this direction in the opposite direction I'm terrible with this drawing thing <laughs> And when you pull in the opposite direction, then it stays completely flat. And this does not happen anymore. And this is how my book lamp looks when it's out. Obviously, for this, um, I have the main reception light on. And I also have the flash on the camera, so it's lights galore. But usually, the main light is off. I don't have a phone. I'm just playing the piano. And I just have... That lovely light in front of me that gives me enough light to see all my keys it gives me a warm light that helps with the relaxation feeling calm feeling good <laughs> basically in one word feeling good and it's just ideal it's not too bright and it's not too soft it's just the perfect light and so you see it's like it was made um, for there if you look at the piano, I have the, just the right amount of space for my book to be there opened. You can now see it's completely flat on the piano, um, on the surface of the piano. So you get an idea. This whole um, wall, it's full of these shelves and full of books. There's my books, there's my girls' books, um, there's loads of different collections from ceiling to um, this part of the piano so it's ideal it goes with the decor it's book themed i love books you know i bought a kindle and to be honest i will have to sell it because i never read my books on my kindle i just like the feel of paper call me i'm giving my age away ain't i <laughs> um but yes i love so it has all my favorites it has paper and it's a book and it's a lovely warm light so it, it really tr truly looks amazing I couldn't have bought a better light uh, for my needs and I just left the boring bit for the end as you can see um, you can have the book on 90 degrees how are you gonna keep the book I suppose if you have a shelf of some kind and the shelf is kind of here and you put the book open yes it's going to stay on its own no if there is no shelf here the book would just probably not all the way but some way would go down so basically if there is no wall the book would just fall to a degree probably stay i don't know somewhere there so you get an idea the 180 degrees this one is the one i have and this one is great uh, for my taste i really like it and it looks perfect this one obviously if you let's say you had a shelf deep shelf or table perhaps and you want to put the book like this i would actually say for it to stay you would probably need some sticky foam pads there and there at least until the book covers get used to the to, to the to the shape and i would actually even suggest you use four so four on this side and four on this side to keep it on place otherwise i don't see a stain um, in that position by itself because it's well made and the covers do tend to to either open like on the first case on this one here or if you leave them um, up to here the book just closes so you would definitely need some kind of um, adhesive pads but there again you would damage to some degree the cover so I personally wouldn't dream of damaging it and then you can open it to 360 degrees um, just be careful when you do it there are enough pages it does cover the whole thing it doesn't fully close um, on this part here because of the spine obviously the circle of the spine here it does almost almost there they can even touch but there again you're going to need some kind of something to stick the ends so there again in my case I wouldn't dare to do anything that would damage my new beautiful book lamp and then 
just the boring specifications <laughs> as if I'm not boring enough you know wood and um, the pages it says it's Tyvek paper uh, the battery is 2500 mega amps so that's a very good battery it works on a 3.7 volts it's available in two lights in warm light which is the one I purchased which is we all know the yellow um, light and then bright white light how bright it's going to be I don't think it's going to be bright to kind of close your eyes bright um, but it's going to be whiter so if you want perhaps a book um, sorry a night table lamp probably the white ones your best option if you want it to decorate decoration ambience light even myself you know to go to sleep at night that you want a little bit of light but not too much then I would suggest the warm light size was spoken and so far I have used it for over two hours it heat it didn't heat and um, that's what I was looking for I was actually doing it on purpose to drain the battery so I could fully charge it and I didn't feel any heat coming off so that's a very good sign uh, with electrical and rechargeable devices you need to make sure that when they're in use uh, they don't heat up especially I was frightened because of the paper involved but no it's 100% safe 100% tested I am sure you didn't have a doubt that I was going to give it a thumbs up um, is there any cons no not really would I improve it actually now that you, I mention it I would like probably a switch um, so we can turn it on and off uh, this idea because it's rechargeable it's much better because you can put it anywhere at any time uh, without the need of a cable of course but a USB micro cable um, my, sorry micro USB uh, with a switch would be ideal and I would also love to find the covers in different tones of wood but as you can see those are not cons they're just personal um, opinions personal preferences something that I would like to see something that I would like to buy and it's are just my ideas so for anything else for me it's a clear thumbs up I do really recommend it it's impossible not to love it <laughs>